All right, Mom. Uh, the Frosts are alleging that I mistreated you, that I've abused you, uh, that I've let you starve, that I don't take care of you. Is any of that true? You need to be worried, trolls. You need to be worried about the future. And you better pray to God I get you before the gods do. Because <laughs> the gods are not as forgiving as I am. I'm quite forgiving, actually. I mean, look how much I put up with your bullshit. I put up with your bullshit for 20 years. Do you think the gods of creation would put up with your shit for that long? No. No. But I'm told, hands off. Stay off. Stay out of it. Let us handle it. I'm like, okay. I'm letting them handle it. I'm letting the gods handle it. Or your gods ain't done this, and your gods ain't done that. The gods are not finished yet. And my food's a beep. I'm coming, food. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Sitting on the park bench, eyeing the girls with some bad intent. The trolls really need to think about the future. They really do. Because I can assure you there's a lot of people out there that have known me for years and years and years that the trolls are not aware of, but who could testify to the fact that everything these trolls have said is a flat-out fucking lie. They can testify to that fact because they've known me for years, literally. And they know that all this bullshit that the trolls are saying is completely false. All of it. And I mean all of it. But see, now we have a new wrinkle, right? We got the wrinkle in the fact that mom was murdered in cold blood because she was going to testify over in Washington, D.C. in federal court against James Arnold Frost. When my daddy, is he still alive? No, he's not alive anymore. Well, is both of my parents gone? They're done gone, yeah. Well, They're done gone a long time ago. Well, I can't prove daddy. All right, mom. Uh, the Frosts are alleging that I mistreated you, that I've abused you, uh, that I've let you starve, that I don't take care of you. Is any of that true? And the reason she was going to testify in court is because James Arnold Frost stole two and a half million dollars out of her closet. In mason jars, $1,000 bills wrapped in mason jars, a whole stack of them. Each mason jar had a whole bunch of them. And what I found out, here's the nice thing I found out about it, guys. Each one of those $1,000 bills is worth anywhere from ten to $20,000, according to the uh, dealers I spoke with. So, uh, James Arnold Frost didn't steal $2.5 million. He stole twenty five million dollars because each one of those thousand dollar bills is worth twenty thousand dollars a piece because now how do we know this we know this because they were minted in 1907 okay so we know this it was minted they were minted in 1907 which would make their value at twenty thousand dollars per one thousand dollar bill now you say well Vaughn, did you witness these this money yourself yes i witnessed the money myself Okay, so it's not hearsay, it's not innuendo, it's not speculation. I personally laid eyeballs on these $1,000 bills, wadded up, not wadded, but, you know, rolled up like a scroll and stuffed down in the mason jars. I personally saw them myself. And she had tons of them in that closet. Tons of them. On top of it, he obtained an illegal POA and went to her bank account and cleaned her bank account out. He got uh, 1941 war bonds. Okay, so now each war let, let's let me let me take my own advice and Google that shit. And let me just put into Google how much is a 1941 war bond worth? Let's find out, boys and girls. Let's find this shit out together, shall we? Question mark. Old war bonds are worth big bucks. Uh oh. Let's see. Um I have 12 $1,000 1941 war bonds. How much would they be worth today? 
Dear Robert, the U.S. Treasury Savings Bond website has a wonderful user-friendly savings bond calculator that will calculate the value of your war bonds for you. It will calculate the value of U.S. Treasury bills, E and EE and I bonds, and savings notes. According to the calculator, if your bonds are a Series E bond that was used to finance World War II, they are worth at least, uh-oh, get this, $3,600 each or a total of more than $43,000. $43,000 for 12 of them. Now, I don't know how many of these war bonds mom had, but I know she had a shit ton of them. Now, each one of them is appraised at $3,600 a piece. A thousand dollar World War II war bond is worth thirty six hundred dollars. Three thousand six hundred dollars. So, so that let's say let's say she had ten of them, that'd be forty thousand dollars right there. Boom, forty grand right there. She also had very expensive jewelry in there. I know this for a fact because she took it out of the house and put it. In the bank, per my instructions. Because I told her, I said, Mom, get this expensive jewelry out of your damn house and get it into your bank account. Well, lo and behold, I didn't know he would get a damn uh, POA and go up there and clean her out anyway. But anyway, uh, she did do what I said that time, and she went and gathered up all of her expensive jewelry and put it in her safety deposit box in the bank. All right, so I know there was jewelry there. I don't think, I know, because I told her to do it. Okay, so now we got the war bonds. We got expensive jewelry. Now, I know for a fact she had some treasury bills. I don't know how many she had, but I know she had a few. And I know she had a few cert certificates of deposit. I know she had those. I don't know how many of those she had. But each one of them would have been valued at least several hundred bucks a piece, if not $1,000 a piece, easy. All right, so we add those on top of that. And then uh, cash-wise, she had close to $5 million uh, in savings and checking, all right? I don't know if she had a portion of that money in the safety deposit box. She might have, uh, but I know for sure she had upwards of $5 million. That's in addition to the war bonds. That's in addition to the treasury bills, the certificates of deposit, the jewelry. Those things are all extra, but cash only, she had close to $5 million in there. All right, so we're looking at anywhere from seven and a half to eight million dollars and and like i said uh those thousand dollar bills that he got out of the closet each one of them's worth ten to twenty thousand dollars so roughly we're looking at about 30 grand uh, 30 million give or take 30 million let's say let's be it let's be let's be generous and say about 30 million or let's be lucrative or uh, uh frivolous conservative let's be conservative and say 30 million it's probably more than that but let's be conservative and say $30 million due to the cost of the $1,000 bills. All right, so that's quite a hunk of money. Um, so, yeah, that's that's quite a hunk of money that I'm owed. And then there's the matter of the $56,888.52 in back child support that I'm owed by Clay County. Uh, since Clay County absconded with my children illegally and then tried to extort money out of me to the tune of $316 a month, I'm going to insist on my $56,888.52 in back child support, every penny of it. And if nobody uh, wants to help, then I'll go to the attorney general and, and I'll put it uh, forth with the attorney general's office. But I will get my back child support, guaranteed. If the county attorney refuses to help, I will get it from the attorney general's office. And the attorney general's office will force Clay County to give me my back child support. Oh, yes, they will. But I will get my fucking money, period. And as for the Frost uh, stealing my inheritance money and then absconding with mom's SSI and, and uh, stimulus checks, um, that's all going to be dealt with as well. Uh, so I'm owed quite a bit of money, guys, quite a bit of money. And, and since the trolls online aided and abetted the Frost in the theft of my money and my mother's money, that makes them an accessory. And they can go to prison as an accessory for grand theft. Now, that carries a term of 15 to 25 years per incidence. 
and there are multiple incidences. Are you listening, trolls? There are multiple incidences. Each one is 15 to 25. So I hope you're young. <laughs> maybe maybe if you're maybe if you're 20 years old, you might get out when you're 70, if you're lucky. You know, good behavior and all that good shit. Oh, and, and not only that, but they also absconded with all of her insurance policies, real old insurance policies going back to when I was a kid. And if they cash the ones that's got my name on them, then they're, then they're really in deep shit. Because the ones with my name on them are only supposed to be cashed in by me. If they're cashed in by anybody else, yeah, that's a felony. <laughs> That's an that's an automatic felony, in fact. So uh, so yeah, uh, they're in deep shit. Plus, they stole all of her legal documents out of her home. Wasn't that nice of them? But they did. They stole all of her legal documents. So if they're in possession of any legal document that gives them the right to do anything, it's fraudulent. I know for a fact it's fraudulent because me and mom spent the better part of a day trying to find her legal documents and what had happened to them. Because they literally come in the house and stole them right out of the house. It sure did. Stole them right out of the house, man. Isn't that crazy? That's some shit, ain't it? But that's what people do when they get it when they get the chance. If they see an opportunity, you know, they'll do whatever they can. They'll do whatever they can. And it's and it's unfortunate. But you know, it what's really sad is that millions of elderly people are taken advantage of like this every year. Every year. An elderly person is disadvantaged by a distant relative, while the family, the, the actual family, is left holding uh, an empty bag. You know, and it's and it's sad, man. It really is sad. Uh, but what are you going to do, right? Not much you can do about that, unfortunately. It's called felony elder abuse, ladies and gentlemen. Some serious shit, right? Correct. Any, any attack on an elderly person or a child is an automatic felony in the state of Kentucky. That is a fact, yes. That is an absolute fact. 